hi everyone welcome back to engineers tech hub channel so in this video guys we will discuss what is your roles and responsibility in your automation testing profile okay so here we have a uh, two types of the roles guys so suppose you are going as a less than five year of experience or you are going you know more than five year of experience so first of all we will discuss less than five year like you are showing your experience two to five year of experience in automation right suppose you are a manual uh, tester and you want to switch your job in automation profile right so you are very good in technical but you don't know how we work in automation uh, in real time how we work in the automation so sometimes what happen <clears throat> you are not able to present yourself what is your roles and responsibility okay so what happened if you're not able to present then interviewer will understand you did not work in the real time right but you know the technical right but you don't know the environment setup you know how we work in agile as a automation test engineer right so in this video we will discuss and you will get more confidence if interviewer will ask you even interviewer will ask you that tell me about yourself then you have to highlight your roles and responsibility as well so what happened <clears throat> in real time we follow the agile process if you don't know what is the agile so i have already made the video on the agile so please watch once okay you will get a link in the description okay so agile methodology you have to understand first then you will understand what we are doing in real time okay so first job is your a script development so you have joined in company frameworks are already there you have to understand the framework then you have to start to write your a script execute the script right and another like project you have joined like nothing is there for the automation it will start from the scratch okay so i will come on that suppose you have joined in the company and framework is already existed existing frameworks are there you have to work you have to maintain the framework you have to write the script you have to run the regression suit and all so in agile we have a two week sprint and four week sprint suppose in my project i have a two week sprint okay in this two week sprint we have a sprint planning and you are a automation test engineer then you will get the task to uh, automate manual test cases right so it totally depend upon the complexity of the test case and test steps suppose you have a 20 steps you have a 25 step 30 steps it totally depend upon that then we can estimate you know our a story point like how much time you will take to uh, automate one test cases this is also very important you will understand this when you are doing the practice how you you are uh, have a speed of like while writing the script okay so it totally depend upon how you are doing the practice so you can give the story point as per the complexity of the test case once you will assign the test case right understand the requirement without understanding the requirement do not start the automation okay so before that you can ask them to give the kt for the framework or application might be you already know that that is fine but if you will get the kt then you will understand the system properly then it is very easy to work okay so you will get assign your task first of all you can understand the manual flow okay you can when you are understanding your manual flow how the application it is any blockers are there like you are using only selenium and suppose we have a uh, some different flow of the test cases so understand that raise the hand if something have a blocker before if you started to write the test cases and you are not able to do that then you will get a sclaser the first steps understand the requirement second step understand the flow of the framework which is in your kt right so ask them to give the kt if you understand the flow of the framework then you can start to write your a script so if you don't know the framework please learn the framework you will have a many resources even 
we are also providing the live training as well okay so as your wish uh, if you want you can learn from anywhere but learn the framework properly okay after that you know start to write your script the first steps we are start to write uh, we will create a page object model right as per the steps we are creating the method and those method we are calling in the test runner class so in this in, in this case sorry in this video i'm not going to explain you the framework guys you will get the framework video as well i have already explained the framework so after doing the script development you have to do the execution you have to execute your test cases on your local machine okay so once your script is uh, working fine in your side you can create a review okay review is very important it will go for uh, you know we have a two types of the review one internal team will review and on-site people means your client will review as well suppose you will raise the review how to raise the review so we have a pr in git so you can just check how to raise the pr okay once you will raise the pr then it will go for the review might be you will get some review comment then you have to work on the review comment okay then again you have to send back for the review you will get approval so we have a two level it depends upon sometime only one level of the review are there and sometime we have a two level of the review right then it will go for the client uh, review so second level of the review if you are getting any comment then again you have to work on that again you have to send back for the review if everything will work fine you can merge those as script in your master this is the first roles and responsibility a script development a script maintenance suppose some of the project are a script is already there already developed your job is to run only execution okay okay so it depend upon totally depend upon the project you can also include this also whatever the script we have developed we run as a regression suit okay so you have to do regression testing right so whatever the script we have done we can run the regression so you can also say that so in regression right if you have you are running the 100 test cases 200 test cases you will get report then you will get some failures you can analyze the failures then um, analyzing the failure then you can check it is a script issue or it is a defect accordingly you can if it is defect then you can raise if it is the script issue then you can fix those issue and you can rerun okay framework maintenance suppose something is going to break in your framework then you have to fix it understood right so this this point you can also include in your roles and responsibility as a automation test engineer suppose you have a more than five year of experience so sometime i told you right the framework is there or sometimes frameworks are not there so you have to write you have to develop the framework from the scratch level okay you can also add but if you already know you are a confident or you have already done the practice for development of the framework then only you can include this okay if you don't have that then you cannot include that you can write like you can say i involve in the script development but if you are showing more than five year and definitely they are expecting to develop the framework as well if you are getting new requirement you have to write the functionality core functionality of the framework as well so this this thing you can also mention when you already have a confident to develop up the framework okay then after that you can do the same thing after uh, frameworks if you are going to design or develop the framework you have to do the poc if your poc will be approved then we can start our script development okay so this is what mainly we are doing in the roles and responsibility as a automation test engineer still you have any doubt you can comment below but if you will speak this all the words what i have discussed and definitely interviewer will impressed with you guys but yes you should not only speak you have to do the proper practice as well hands-on practice as well okay if you are a manual tester you can do the same thing what same thing we are doing in the real time as well then you will get confidence because you have done practically as well right and you know how we work in the agile environment that's it guys in this video if you have any doubt you can comment below and please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification thank you see you in the next video bye bye